Oh no, how did I get myself in this situation? Uh, looks like I don't have any cards in my hand that will help me out. I guess I'll have to use Blood Pack to draw some more cards. Yes, this might just work. I play... Evil Eye Demon. To cement my victory, I will invoke a follower. Let me weep. There you go. That was my video. <laughs> I'm back. Alright, let me set this back. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is my reveal for Rebooth of Glory. Uh, and my card is Prison of Pain. It is a 3 play point amulet for Bloodcraft. With countdown to fanfare, deal one damage to your leader and draw a card. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to your leader and draw a card. So you'll get three cards overall and ping yourself three times. That's pretty good rate. Um, three cards with three play points is very good. Uh, you just get them slowly, but you also ping yourself each turn, allowing you to do uh, combinations. Uh, so uh, an option would be to play this with Floros or Evil Eye Demon and it also adds three to your count to get uh, Valnoric active. Sadly, um, Bat, um, Darkfee's Bat will be rotating out but all of the uh, Lust cards will still be around and you can get these combos off. And you can probably win the game without Bat. So, uh, very strong with these cards. Also, it draws you three cards which lets your hand stay very big for slain. So you can play this in Mechana Blood just to fill your hand up. Not very good with that. Because the damage you're taking from this isn't very relevant when you're healing for 8 off of Slain Storm. Uh, yeah, and there's probably going to be more ways to abuse Prison of Pain. Uh, problem I see is that it's 3 play points, it draws you cards. Uh, it kind of takes the spot of Unleashed Nightmare. Unleashed Nightmare is slightly better. Maybe not slightly better. Unleash Nightmare is better, but maybe you can play both of them at the same time. A uh, thing that Unleash Nightmare doesn't do is doesn't ping you, so you can't get Floros, which uh, is a good combination with Prison of Pain. <laughs> uh, I also have another card. I'll show you the other card. other card is Nephilio, Door Demon. Also a Bugcraft card, 3 play point, 3-3 three, three Bronze card. Can't be targeted by enemy spells and effect, and it has enhanced 7, gain plus 4, plus 4, and ward. Uh, yeah, interesting card. If you're going first, he'll probably connect face for 3. Very good at connecting face for 3, um, because it's very hard to remove him with um, in the early parts of the game. Enhanced 7, gain plus 4, plus 4, and ward. He's a 7-7 seven, seven with ward. Can't be targeted by enemy spells and effects. It's alright. He still can be destroyed uh, by Bane. Uh, yeah, overall pretty decent. Uh, hard to fit in Bloodcraft decks because Bloodcraft decks are very synergistic. Uh, he doesn't really help you uh, have mechanic cards, doesn't really help you ping yourself, uh, but a very solid 3 play point follower. Uh, yeah, decent against strategies that have targeted removal. Uh, this is his evolved art. Again, he's a 5-5 five five when he evolves, no special effects when he evolves. And yeah, uh, those are my two cards. Prison of Pain, if you want to see it again. Cant down 2, 3 plus 1 amulet for Bloodcraft. And Nephilio, 3-3-3-3, yeah, three three three, also for Bloodcraft. Yeah, uh, both cards are uh, pretty good. I. I I want to play with Prison Pain a little bit more because there's lots of synergy with that. Uh, this guy is a very decent pick um, if you just need to fill out your curve. Yep. Thanks for watching my review. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and follow me on Twitch TV slash Kiramango. See you guys.